Well, the Justice Department today announced a special counsel in the investigation into the president's son, Hunter Biden. The government also announced the talks for a plea deal are at an impasse. Natalie Brand has the developing details from Washington, D.C. Attorney General Merrick Garland announced a special counsel to investigate President Biden's son, Hunter. The move gives U.S. Attorney David Weiss expanded powers to continue his probe into Hunter Biden's tax and gun charges. This appointment confirms my commitment to provide Mr. Weiss all the resources he requests. It also reaffirms that Mr. Weiss has the authority he needs to conduct a thorough investigation and to continue to take the steps he deems appropriate independently. Weiss, who is a Trump appointee, began investigating Hunter Biden in 2019. In June, he announced a plea deal in which Biden would plead guilty to two misdemeanor tax crimes and would dismiss a felony gun charge if he remained drug free and committed no additional crimes for two years. That plea deal fell apart late last month when the judge in the case questioned the terms of the deal and whether it was in the public's best interest. I don't think you move David Weiss into the special counsel category unless there might be something else, unless there is something that could come in the future. House Republicans who are leading their own investigations into Hunter Biden and the president have long called for a special counsel in the case, but say they don't agree with the attorney general's choice. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy on social media said, quote, if Weiss negotiated the sweetheart deal that couldn't get approved, how can he be trusted as special counsel? Attorney General Garland says Weiss has told Congress he will have the ultimate authority over deciding where, when, and whether to file charges. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.